So welcome back in. Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions and today's video is something a little bit different than I normally do. Not a tutorial, not a review, and not a vlog. More so a combination of all of those and let me explain. So just a few weeks ago, a client tasked myself and a director with the goal of a two-day shoot in Afton, Virginia at a distillery to deliver a mini doc. And here's exactly how we did it. It's 5.09, 5.10, it's go time. Let's hop in the shower and then go pick up Logan. <laughs> So we pretty much got all the gear, batteries are ready to go, and it's almost time to hop up in the car. Gotta have that coffee for the drive. So at this point in the video, you're probably wondering why in the world am I driving towards or even past Washington DC? Trey, you're going in the wrong direction. And yes sir, or ma'am, you are correct. But we're on the way to pick up the director for this shoot and that is Logan Albright. Well, little did I forget, I did not record this section, so shame on me. But that being said, we picked up Logan and made our way to Afton, so let's enjoy some beautiful drone footage. We made it down to Afton, we shot the sequence in regards to the drone footage, and then we made our way into actual Silverback. So we're sitting in my office right now. Oh, uh, it's a little messier than normal, so no judging. Uh, we're a little busy with the hand sanitizer, but uh, I have a wonderful mural here in the background that reminds me of why I started this journey. It is uh, the Cloisters in Scotland. So once we got a chance to kind of diagnose what we got out of Christine's first interview, we then took a little bit of a breather. Logan was able to sit down and figure out some of the gaps and the stories that we were missing. And then we went ahead and started with our second interview with Christine in the main lobby. Now our daughter Lauren does a lot of the logistics of the operation and a lot of the distilling. And she was giving us an insight into kind of how that operation flows. We have Logan on the head headset, running the audio, and doing all the directing. Now I've got the Sony a7S II, once again, this time running the 50 millimeter Rokinon glass and shooting what I would consider like a wide shot. Now we have to consider that we have her at the bar top, which is gonna be actually a nice touch to give us some depth of field in regards to having her here. And then behind her, they have a lot of the sanitizing, hand sanitizer that they're actually brewing up and going to have out for delivery. So after we wrapped up with both interviews with Christine and then the interview with her daughter, Lauren, this then gave us an opportunity to do some walk and talk or what we like to call walkabout shots. So once Logan and I were wrapped up with both interviews with Lauren and Christine and kind of did most of the B-roll and drone shooting for the day, we had a cocktail with Christine. <laughs> Cheers. That's the uh, end of day one and uh, much needed, especially with starting at five o'clock this morning. But now is to the end of the day where we kind of wrap up, have a cocktail, eat our dinner, and then basically go through the edits from today. So the goal here is to get all the files on the hard drives, preferably two. And then we're gonna basically do a rough, rough cut with all the interviews. That way the director can kind of sit down and get his head around what he's thinking in regards to story. And it also gives me the ability to kind of fill in the gaps and take a look at my B-roll to see what I have, what I don't have, so that tomorrow morning when we go back, it's pretty much just dedicated to spending as much time as possible trying to get every pickup shot to kind of fill in the story. That way you have plenty of interview, but you have plenty of B-roll. So let's get to that process. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so quick pro tip in regards to now that we're dealing with files, as you guys can kind of see, we are putting them in folders and kind of categorizing things. While this does take a little bit of time on the front end, it's going to save you so much time on the back end. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is one, this is a for-profit project, and it involves multiple people and a director, and as far as workflow goes, it's one thing if you're editing, shooting it, doing all yourself, I get it, you can kind of have it in your head. But if you're gonna be working with multiple individuals, it is gonna be so key to categorize. So now that we have all our files in their respectable places, this is where we hop up in the editing bay and go ahead and chop together all the interviews from the day. Now the goal here is to put them all in one long form timeline. That way I can then go directly to Logan, our director, let him hit the play button and watch them all as one long form interview. Now this gives him the advantage to then just see it all in one long timeline and then he can spend the night or the next few days go ahead and diagnosing the story that he would like to put together. Now this also gives us a chance to then realize the things or b-roll that we need to go shoot on day two and overall puts us in a position for a win-win in the final product and the story that we're going to be telling. So this piece of content was an absolute absolute blast to film and edit and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now if you're interested in watching the full length doc make sure to go to freethepeople.org link will be in the description or you can go check them out on YouTube at Free the People to make sure to watch the entire documentary of the Silverback Distillery. It was an absolute blast and it was a pleasure to film and edit this with Logan Albright and the Free the People team but hey guys as always it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions and if you like the content I keep creating on this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video